Washington University scientists transplanted gut microbes into mice from pairs of twins where one was obese and the other lean. The mice had been raised in a sterile environment and didn't have any gut microbes of their own. This allowed the researchers to see whether the gut microbes from the twins would influence weight gain in the mice. When mice were fed a healthy diet, those that received gut microbes from the lean twin stayed lean, while mice that received microbes from the obese twin gained weight and fat and developed metabolic problems linked to insulin resistance during 15 days of observation. The researchers then repeated the experiment and put one mouse with obese microbes into a cage with another mouse with lean microbes. Because in close quarters, mice share these microbes, the researchers got to see which microbes ultimately would take over. And the answer depends on diet. If the animals were fed a diet low in saturated fat and high in fruits and vegetables, gut microbes from the lean mouse got into the guts of the mice with microbes from the obese twin. That prevented mice destined for obesity from gaining weight and fat. When the researchers repeated the experiment but fed the animals an unhealthy diet, high in saturated fat and low in fruits and vegetables, microbes from the lean mouse couldn't colonize the guts of mice with an obese twin's microbes, and as a result, mice with obese microbes gained weight and fat. The findings help illuminate how diet and gut microbes interact to affect weight gain, and they set the stage for developing next-generation probiotics that can be added to foods to treat or prevent obesity.